What is up, Tube, and welcome back. Let's get into this. It's Monday. Not gonna lie, boys, we're coming off a pretty damn good weekend again. That's like two weekends in a row that remind me of the back a long time ago days weekends. You know, it's been a been a crazy year, guys. This whole pandemic thing is just, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy as far as business wise about how we decreased and the amount of business that we've been taking in. You know, I go, I've been here 12 years, so in 12 years, I have a, a, a ledger of, of what we've done over the years, you know, and last year by far was our worst year, even worse than our first year. I think we did better our first year than we did last year, but you know what, guys, it's a pandemic, you know, it's not something, uh, something that, that we take lightly. So, uh, of course, you know, I, I'm seriously, I'm happy that we survived it. I'm, I'm happy that we made it through this, you know, and we're here still standing in the end, uh, almost at the end. It's not over yet, almost at the end, but we are here, turn on my aunt's real quick. We are still standing here and we're still here, you know, so I'm proud of that. I'm proud that our, our, our crew stayed together, most of it. You know, we only lost, really we only lost Tony, but Tony still might come back. I think, I still think he's going to come back eventually, you know, but as of right now, we're still flying with four guys, uh, still doing our thing, guys, still doing our thing, still trying, uh, uh, showing up every day. And I'm just letting you guys know the last two weeks have been pretty good. You know, people are starting to gravitate to us again. School started around here. Um, even my grandkids went back. I was, you know, I... I I thought they were going to stay for the rest of the year. No, my daughter sent my granddaughters to start school today. So around here locally, all the elementary schools are starting back up. So I I'm telling you guys, it's just the kids being back in school makes a hell of a lot of difference with, as far as uh, as far as far uh, people coming through here. So there was a lot of walk-ins last week. Absolutely a lot of walk-ins. Uh, it was a really, really good weekend. So uh, see, we'll see, see what this week brings. Today's Monday. Um, Today I have zero appointments, so it's gonna be all walk-ins and uh, you know like Mondays I, I already you guys are if you guys don't know if you guys are new to my channel Mondays I work by myself. Um, I have two apprentices, my son Dave and my son-in-law Raul. They're both my apprentices. So on this day they go to school today. Uh, they have class, so that's why they're in class today. So that's why Mondays I work by myself. I also have biz. But Biz's is days off are Mondays, Sundays and Mondays, and he starts back up tomorrow. And um, I'm off tomorrow and Wednesday, so he covers Tuesday and Wednesday with Raul. Uh, so, yeah, it, it works out good for us. Uh, uh, you know, we, 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 we handle it. We've been doing it good. We've, been, we've already been grinding. Uh, so we're just going to continue doing what we're doing. Um, what else? I wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, oh, today what I'm going to do, guys, is... I want to do the review on this caliber machine, but man, I, I can't handle this blade. This blade is is irritating to me. I don't know why. Just so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna put a, a five star bottom on this one. I know I heard that you could do that. I'm gonna put leave the cutting blade the same, but I'm gonna put a five star cut a, a top blade on it and then try it out that way. See if it makes a difference. I heard that it does make a difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my blade from this machine from my five star. I'm gonna take the five star apart, take that blade, or I might have another one somewhere else. So I have, I'll use it, I'll check my bone yarn and see what I have in there. But I'm gonna definitely change this blade out. I could tell the difference already, look at this. There's a difference, this one's a lot thicker, a lot wider, a lot heavier, this one's real thin. So, we'll see. We'll see how that works out, I'll let you guys know. But I'm gonna get started on this day. Today is Monday, today is my cleaning day. Uh, usually I go to the bank on Mondays, but I'm definitely gonna give this shop a real, Bit shine today, it needs it, so we'll see what I get into, guys.
All right, guys, let me take you for a little trip to the boneyard. This is my boneyard right here. Usually I keep it under this cupboard right here, under this mesh station. It's a mess in here, but let me see if I got a blade in here. See, look at these machines. I have a lot of machines in here. This machine right here, what happened to this machine was the cutting blade broke. So now I just put it in here. Sometimes we take off like switches, you know, you need switches. Like this switch is still good right here. Whenever I need a switch, I'll be able to come back to this one and grab that. I got a couple of other ones. I got some, a couple of 76s in here. All these 76s I've put to use already. The Kemi, remember the Kemi I did a review on? I put this one in here too. Oh, see, look at, I'm looking for a wall blade. Boom. That's an old wall blade. I put this on this one right here. So I'll use this one right now that I'm going to use. Pull it out of here. Put that one aside. Let's see what else is in here, guys. Another five-star corded. See? Oh, no, this one's still good. Look at this one. This one just needs a blade. It's probably still good in there. I thought that one was broken. A peanut. We used, all these machines have, I've used. This one, too. Look at this. Another good one. This one's still good back here. This is usually sometimes breaks. They break it on the old ones. See these ones right here? They have numbers on them. Trip out on this, guys. All right? See this one right here? It has a 09. F09, so that means this one was made in 2009. They all have numbers on them. The new ones don't have numbers, but the old ones did. See this one? 13. This is a 2013. Okay, I need the blade. That's exactly what I need right there. I'll use that one again. See what else we have in here. I have an old Styliner in here. I used to like the Styliners back in the day. That's why I have them in here. So that's my boneyard right there, guys. I'm gonna put it back, put it, put it asleep. But I just wanted to share, share with you. Uh, every barber should have a boneyard. When you know, over the years, over 20 years of cutting hair, these machines have accumulated. These are just machines that uh, that I've that that uh, I've decommissioned, stopped using. But I always save them just in case for this reason. In case I need some parts, pull it back up. All right, guys. I'm gonna try to give you a decent view of what I'm gonna do here. So I pull these out of the boneyard. You guys saw right now. These have the same, same blade, basically. This blade looks like it's put in more work than this one. This is one I probably took off another machine. It was a Kemi. I did a review on it. But uh, once I did the review, all of a sudden it stopped working. Oh, look, it turns on. Chinese machine. Didn't expect it to do too good. Actually worked really good. Uh, I, I like using it too. But, oh tell you guys, I'm clumsy, man. Take that off. And we're not going to use this blade, the cutting blade. We're just going to use the, um, so we have this blade now. Look at this machine. This machine is still good. All it needs is a cord and a cover. So now I'm going to take this blade off. I'm going to use the same screws because it belongs on this machine. See, it pops out when it comes out, see? That's the other blade. Now, here's my dilemma. Should I use the original blade? Maybe I will. I'm just going to leave the cutting blade the same. But I, I could use the other cutting blade from the actual wall. But the reason why I'm not going to is because I could tell that this cutting blade is a lot 
thinner than this cutting blade. See the difference, guys? See the thickness in, in this cutting blade and this cutting blade? Although it is angled somewhat similar, I, I'm just going to leave this one on just to be safe. This one goes back. Yeah, it goes like this. Now to figure this out. Oh, it goes on here, okay. Like that. And then I have the new cutting blade, the stationary blade, and you're gonna push it back into place. Hold it with your two fingers, and then apply your screws. Just give it a couple turns. Put the other one on. Whoa. And now I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna close my blade, my thing up, and then I'm gonna line up my blade. And what I'm trying to do is line up this tooth to the first one right there. And I think that's as high as you can go. Oh no, you can push it down a little bit more. Right there. Make sure. Nope, no, I got misaligned. Now I'll line up my blade perfectly. Right there. And now I'll make my final tightness. Yep, we're good. And while the way I'll test it, it doesn't hurt, doesn't bite, looks good. All right. Now, it feels different, sounds different too. So we'll see, I'm gonna give it a try today. And we'll see if it makes a difference. I don't know. I'll definitely let you guys know. I think I like it. I like the way it feels. It feels, it, I don't know, it sounds different too. So, huh. Modification, guys. Put a wall, wall stationary blade on it. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right, guys? We'll see how this day goes today too. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for today. This day is over. Pretty crazy day, guys. Pretty crazy day. Not for, not for nothing, but just working by myself, I did pretty damn, damn good. Probably did about, uh, well, I got 350 bucks on the box, which, what, three, three is eight, that's 12, that's 14 cuts. 14 cuts ain't bad. Not bad for by myself on a Monday. Um, a lot of kids coming through, guys. A lot of kids, which is a good thing. I like the fact that the kids are back in school today here in the in this area around here where I live, uh, the, the kids all started school today. So man, there was been a lot of kids coming through here. Um, I did probably half of my cuts today were little kids that are just coming in with these big giant mangs that they haven't got haircuts for a while. It, and you know what we've been getting a lot of is we're getting a lot of kids that are giving getting those home cuts from the parents. Don't do it guys, don't do it. If you're watching this and you are a parent, do not do it. Unless you're a professional trained barber, do not send your kids with these home haircuts because you're setting them up to get bullied. Trust me. You don't want your kid growing up getting bullied around. You do not. You do. You want to you want them growing up with some peace of mind, you know? You got you got to get that hair, you got to get that hair clean, tightened up. I tell them all the time. I tell the kids don't let your dad cut their hair. Oh, no, 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 no. Home care's on the horrible list. But that is it for today. This week is over. Tomorrow is uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, my day's off. I'm going to try to do a video for you guys on my day off this week. I got to go buy some supplies. Ooh, excuse me. So if I do, uh, I'm going to go to a supply store that I've been going to, and um, I might take you guys with me, guys. So... Uh, I got a lot of things going on uh, next week. Next 
Tuesday next a week from today. I'm gonna uh, I go not a, not a vacation. I'm going on a on a trip to Vegas overnight uh, to uh, go do a stadium tour down there. Yes, you remember I'm a season ticket holder for the for the Las Vegas Raiders. So um, there's they they scheduled us to come see the stadium and check out our seats, go on the field. So it's gonna be awesome, and of course I'm gonna be, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, 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 vlog that. So if you guys want to see that, you guys gotta go to our other channel, Big Al and Lisa Marie vlogs. Go check it out, guys. I'm always dropping content over there. Not always, not as much as I drop content here, but you know what? It, it, over there, it's more of a family vlog. You know, barbecuing stuff like that. Tomorrow I'm gonna be vlogging over there because. I bought myself a Blackstone Grill. I don't know if you guys know what a Blackstone Grill. Blackstone Grill is a big grill, like a barbecue, but it's a grill. Um, got myself my Blackstone finally. Uh, well, my mom got it for me. My mom bought it for me for my birthday. And then I bought all the accessories, bought me a floor mat for the floor. So tomorrow's the day I'm gonna break it in. So if you guys wanna see that, check that out. Go to the other channel. I'll be posting it on that other channel. But with that being said, guys, again, I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you guys are new to our channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below. I answer everybody. Any question, you got it, I got it. If I got the answer, I'll give it to you guys. But with that being said, you guys have a blessed night, good weekend, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Grind on.